It is the 4th of July, so I'm going to have the 4th of July promos and the most explosive NFL players of all time build my team, which is absolutely horrible right now on offense and on defense. So let's get started with the first player. And the first player we have is this 99 Aaron Rodgers from the last 4th of July promo back in Madden 16. Madden 16 had ridiculous stats. He literally has 100 on two different stats. And the best Aaron Rodgers card in the auction house right now is this 97 overall. So we just need to pull the trigger on it. No offense to Aaron Hernandez, of course. And add him at our QB position, but the rest of our offense and our defense isn't looking very good. I mean, it's literally bare naked. It's th there's nobody here more lonely than Xerxes bedroom every night But that does help us with one of our challenges We must complete in this video which is to make a 96 or higher overall team with of course the most with our 4th of July lineup I'm gonna be using previous 4th of July promos as well as lists of the top 10 most explosive players in NFL history And my own choices for the most explosive players of all time to build out this team and for each challenge I don't complete in this video I'm giving away a copy of Madden or college football to a lucky subscriber in the comment section hit the like button and comment down below your console and if you guys are new to the channel and you do enjoy, I would greatly appreciate if you did subscribe. It's not required or anything, but we're trying to reach 200,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And if we do, I'm going to have a huge surprise for you guys. Before we say more challenges, though, we got to add more players to the team. And guys, this video wouldn't be possible without the sponsor of this video, Underdog Fantasy. Today, we have a brand new Asia Wilson 0.5 points special. It's gone in just a couple of hours. She just needs to score a single point and you win on this pick, meaning you win money. Now, to get this, as well as up to $250 in bonus cash, use code DOM. Link is in the description down below happy fourth of july boys please be sure to use my code link is in the top of the description it takes just seconds to sign up and start winning yourself some money i won almost a grand in june be sure to do the same for yourself this month our next player from madden 16 is none other than janoris jenkins this card was absolutely cracked and then of course we have 98 dayon buchanan who also was juiced to every stat and then 99 brandon marshall as well and this card was also juiced 101 catch in traffic was in insane. Now, Janoris Jenkins, unfortunately, isn't in Madden 24, but we can get one of his best teammates in the secondary of all time from the 2015 and 16 New York Giants and add Dominique rogers Cromartie in his place. For every single player that we could add that isn't actually in Madden 24, we're just going to add a teammate of theirs in their place or a legend from that team that they played on. And although this is one of the best cornerbacks in the entirety of Madden Ultimate Team, we have so many insane cards coming up that you guys do not want to miss. This team is going to get crazy. And shall I say explosive much like my toilet gets after i have one sniff of taco bell and once again brandon marshall another guy that wasn't in madden 24 this year unfortunately so there's a couple teams we could pick a legend from which is exactly what we're going to do but we have to remember to make sure it's an explosive legend or one of the most electrifying players in nfl history so we can't just pick anybody so it only makes sense to replace a bear with one of the greatest bears of all time in devin hester to be our brand new kick and punt returner not that anybody kicks or punts in madden so i don't see him hitting the field too much but we'll see and Dale buchanan also not in the game so we're gonna have to add a former teammate of his and there's no better choice than tyron matthew one of his former running mates in the secondary along with patrick peterson what an incredible secondary that was dude so at our free safety position we're putting in uh, the honey badger at wide receiver number three we're putting in devin hester and i'm saying wide receiver three because we might have some crazy players coming up just wait and see but all these guys clearly are not enough to build out an entire team because we have a ton of positions missing so we need to start adding more to the team. And this is a random video I saw of the top 10 most explosive players in NFL history. It has Chris Johnson on the cover, so we can probably guess who's going to be in this video. But before we get into these players, the challenges I must complete are, of course, get a 96 overall or higher team. We have to pull a 97 or higher player, and I'll show you why we're opening packs in just a little bit. And then, of course, we have to win a game with the final built team. And again, for every challenge I do not complete, I'm giving away one copy of Madden or College Football 25 to a subscriber. Join the familia, and you'll be an honorary talent for life if you do subscribe and the first explosive player we're starting off with is none other than Tyree Kill. that makes more sense than anything he has clearly been one of the best receivers in the NFL ever since he joined I mean look at that dude nobody can even compare to him in terms of speed right now in the NFL next up we have another receiver with number 11 Julio Jones from the Falcons these aren't going to be the only receivers we add in this video though you can't have an explosive players list without Michael Vick prime Michael Vick was just another beast entirely he had that dog in him no pun intended and then of course we have number 10 deshaun jackson this is one of the greatest plays in nfl history in my opinion 
it was absolutely insane to win the NFC East final game of the season. No time left on the clock. Incredible. So now at wide receiver two, we're going to be adding one of the fastest players of all time. 99 overall, Tyreek Hill is going to be our wide receiver two, gentlemen. And I wasn't going to originally add Michael Vick to the team, but since we couldn't get the 99 version of Aaron Rodgers, we're going to add the 99 version of Michael Vick to the squad. So with that sayonara to Aaron Rodgers, enjoy your weird little cave retreat, buddy. We've got a brand new QB on the squad, boys. And at our wide receiver number one position, we're adding Michael Vick's former teammate, Deshaun Jackson, to the wide receiver group. And this is going to, and this receiver group is going to start getting very crowded very fast because these aren't even the best wide receivers we're adding. Boys, it's going to get crazy. Our offense is looking better and better, though. And our defense is pretty barren, but I have a feeling we'll be adding some defensive players soon. Yes, that is foreshadowing. Starting with our number one wide receiver coming up right now. Oh, Odell Beckham Jr., my favorite wide receiver of all time. Before the injuries, he was probably the most electrifying player in the NFL. And I don't think that's that crazy to say. He had the greatest start to a career ever, beginning with this incredible catch against the Cowboys. The greatest catch in NFL history, in my opinion. Absolutely incredible. We're not done adding offensive players with speed yet. Oh, Chris Johnson, my favorite running back of all time, without a doubt. He was the first one I loved, easily adding him to the team. He's gonna need a backup though, or we're gonna need a fullback. Oh, perfect. We're getting Marshawn Lynch with his beast quake run right here. I'm not even gonna speak. Let's just watch. <laughs> Every time I watch that run, it gets more ridiculous. He was special. And us upgrading the defense isn't happening right now because we are straight back to offense with our brand new wide receiver number one, Odell Beckham Jr. And our new halfback number one in Marshawn Lynch, golden ticket, one of the best running backs in the entire game. And we're just going to completely remove Devin Hester from the offense and make him our full-time kick and punt returner. And we also have to add Chris Johnson, who shockingly doesn't have a 99 overall in the game right now, but he'll be our backup running back anyways. And much like a bodybuilder who only does arms and doesn't do any leg day whatsoever this part is looking sick and this part is missing quite a lot of muscle it's disgusting looking oh Deion sanders just when i say it probably the greatest cornerback of all time he's not going to be the only one we're adding in this video of course but man he was truly explosive he's like me in the bathroom after having taco bell bro and then of course number two on the list is randy moss one of my favorite receivers of all time again we're gonna be adding a couple of them throughout this video and i mean every single person we're adding is going to be an insane super fast player because of course this is a explosive fourth of july video that we are trying to do here and then player number one on this list is going to be barry sanders don't worry, though. I have a lot of players who are going to be adding after this. Probably the GOAT running back, in my opinion. Him or Walter Payton. I never got to watch him play live because I was, like, negative five when he was in the NFL. I truly wish I could have. So, at wide receiver number four, we're adding 98 overall Randy Moss. But we're also going to add another version of Randy Moss. His golden ticket cornerback into our secondary. And we're going to go ahead and buy this golden ticket Deion Sanders cornerback as well to add to our secondary, which is just getting completely revamped in these couple of choices. And and we need to add Barry Sanders at running back as well, who obviously ha isn't going to be getting any more cards in Madden anymore because he and, and EA didn't sign another contract together, which is really odd. I really hope he comes back for Madden 25 or College Football 25. He's like in the Mount Rushmore of Madden legends, but he's our new running back number three, and Deion Sanders is our new cornerback three. The team is starting to look a little bit better, but still not good enough. And something I need to mention right now is for every position we do not fill out in this video, I'm going to be opening up one pack in their place to try and fill out that position which is as of right now our entire o-line tight end group and pretty much our entire defense so let's hopefully add some players soon but we still have a lot of players remaining and this is where my choices for the most explosive players of all time comes in boys why did i say that like that at tight end number one we're adding the greatest tight end of all time of course 99 overall rob gronkowski or 98 overall he'll get to 99 with boost though so we're fine 
We're also going to be adding him at cornerback number four, though. At fullback, we're going to add Trent Williams, who's obviously one of the greatest offensive linemen in NFL history, but we'll add a couple of O-linemen, of course, that are very explosive, which are going to be Joe Thomas, Jason Kelsey, and Lane Johnson as our three own linemen that we're going to pick for our team. But our defense still needs a lot of help, so let's start adding some explosive defensive players to the team. At our free safety position, we're going to be adding Mike Evans and this is going to be a controversial choice but we're going to be putting in Mike Evans at our free safety position over Tyron Matthew hey man it's my list okay chill as strong safety we're putting in Jack Tatum and Eric Berry Eric Berry is one of my all-time favorite players and he's probably the best safety I've ever seen other than like Ed Reed and Troy Polamalu probably and now we have our entire linebacking core and our entire D-line as well to add so let's start off with Ryan Bowe's side linebacker number one where we're going to be putting in Derek Thomas one of the greatest pass rushers in NFL history at middle linebacker number one and number two we're putting in Patrick Willis and Rob Gronkowski <laughs> I know that's a controversial choice but this card is so fun and I helped make it so I'm adding it to the squad sue me and then at left outside linebacker we're gonna save that for just in a second so let's get to our d-line where at right end we're obviously going to be putting in Grant Stewart the best player I've ever seen and you guys have ever seen as well JK lol we're putting in Aaron Donald obviously then at defensive tackle number one we're putting in John Randall and lined up next to him we have obviously got big Vince Will Fork now this man fourth of July is all about eating and getting chunky so why wouldn't we want vince wilfork on the squad but then of course we need a left end where we're going to be putting in jj watt one of the greatest defensive linemen of all time but obviously there's a couple of very big names that we've left out of the defense so let's go ahead and add those guys in real quick as well where there's not a full ultimate legend version of luke keekley up so we just have to buy a low legend card of his which is silly in my opinion but it's what we've got to do he's the best middle linebacker i myself have ever seen we're adding him to the squad of course he just won't be a starter he'll be like a bench warmer he'll be like the water boy he'll be the water boy's water boy this is an 87 in july this dude's not looking at the field and then leaves our left outside linebacker position where there's been a glaring omission from this team so far the greatest wide receiver of all time we're putting him at Left outside linebacker. Calvin Johnson deserves a spot on the most explosive players of all time team, boys. Of course. I know I said greatest wide receiver of all time. He's probably not the greatest, but he's definitely up there. Okay, so relax. He's my favorite, along with Odell. And we're going to put him at our wide receiver position as well. But we're obviously missing two positions on offense. And then we're missing a punter and a kicker. Let's see if we can pull a 97 plus. If I don't, then I owe you guys a copy of college football. And hopefully it's the only challenge I fail if I do. Six Pro Max Fantasy Packs. Let's see if these will be good to us, boys. A 197 or higher players. All I'm asking for, that could have been it. That could have been it, but it wasn't. Take around anything good. Levante, David, Leonard, Floyd. That was close. That was very, very close. Golden ticket. Golden ticket. Oh my God, that's as close as we could have gotten. 96 is crazy, EA. Dexter Lawrence, Tyreek, Josh Oliver. Oh no, 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 no. Give me a 97, EA. Oh my gosh, that's so close. Final pack. This could be it. This will determine if I'm giving away a copy for this challenge or not. Come on, final round. 97, 97, 97, 97. We get Reggie Gilliam and Yaya Diaby. Shout out Reggie Gilliam. He follows me. Dude is super chill. But we fail that challenge. I owe you guys a copy of Madden or College Football 25. But I still might have to give away two more. So we'll see what happens. So putting in our new players on offense, we've got Lincoln Kennedy and John Runyon. And we are officially a 97 overall with this team. This is the 4th of July offense, most explosive team ever. And this is the 4th of July defense, most explosive team ever. And if I don't win a game in one singular try i have to give away two copies of college football 25 or madden whichever you guys would like dot dot that was horrendous that was horrendous that was horrendous thank you gronk thank you gronk good catch dot 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 thank you tyreek dot oh my gosh Oh, no. 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 Oh, gosh dang it. I'm so stupid, bro. That was horrendous. Also, I'll say it. Uh, that was on Michael Vick for being left-handed. He wasn't born left-handed. <laughs> we don't throw that pick. Simply. Pick it, 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 pick it. Drop it. Thank you. More than 13, baby. Ha-ha. <laughs> Let's go. Mine. 
Oh, thank God. Drop it. Yes, that's what we like to see, baby. Okay, this is mega ballsy, but we're sending it. Easy. Easiest choice of my life. Easiest choice of my life, Michael Vick first down. Dot. Touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown! Thank you, baby. Holy crap. I may be giving you guys one copy, but I'm not giving you two. Let's go, boys. We take the W. Rage quit from him. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click this one right here. Be sure to comment down below because I'm giving away a copy of College Football 25 or Madden 25 to one of you guys. But watch this one, though. I'm doing the same exact challenges and giveaway in this one. You'll love it. I'll see you there in just a second, gentlemen.